October 17th, Christopher, and talking about to believe. spreading wildfires. Unbelievable. I, it's absolutely unbelievable. I, it's something that you would see typically in July or August, but like you said, we are heading into the end of October. But we do have some weather changes on the way, so that is the great news. It's not all doom and gloom. We have some great conditions that are eventually going to come and help mitigate some of the uh, fires that we have ongoing across the area. Live look at the Seattle waterfront. If you look closely, you can kind of see that haze still lingering around across the area, and this is going to be the big thing we're focused on throughout the day. While we see gradual improvements, we're not going to see all of that wildfire smoke move out of the area. 53 degrees temperatures area wide are pretty nice. 40s and 50s. You almost just want to open up the window or have that cup of coffee on the patio, but unfortunately you can't do that with that smoke that continues to linger across the area. 55 for my friends in Everett, 48 in Mount Vernon. Good morning, Port Angeles. 50 degrees there. A little bit cooler in Olympia. Checking in in the lower 40s and those temperatures this afternoon while we are still a little bit above average. I think we're going to take this temperatures in the 60s. Some folks could hold on to the upper 50s for our island communities, and this is a lot cooler than yesterday. We climbed into the 80s, even some 90s, so I think we'll take that 80, uh, 88 yesterday in Seattle, 68 today, so 20 degrees cooler. Air quality looking a lot better than yesterday, seeing a lot of green and yellows across the area. We will take that. We're seeing air quality not the best, but it's in the moderate category versus that unhealthy we were sitting at yesterday. A little caveat, as you work your way into the Cascade foothills for King, Snohomish, Skagit, at Whatcom counties, still seeing some of that greatly reduced air quality, especially in parts of Skagit and Whatcom County. So just to the east of Bellingham, seeing a little bit of some of the higher smoke due to some of the fires that are ongoing in the northern Cascades. So just keep that in mind. If you're sensitive to the wildfire smoke, limit that time outdoors. Current smoke mainly along and east of I-5. Notice we continue to see that slow onshore push really pushed the smoke east of I-5 this afternoon. But if you live in the foothills, you're going to be socked in with the smoke this afternoon and possibly continuing into the upcoming week until we get that rain on Friday. Onshore flow this morning. It's weak. We will see some clouds, especially Seattle south, but those quickly burn off with that weak onshore flow. We'll be left with sunny skies with a little bit of haze this afternoon. But folks, the good news is look at our Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures are in the 50s with a chance for rain and there's even the chance of snow by Saturday for the mountains dropping down to 4,000 feet.